What's going on, everybody? So the Z Fold 6. We are a week away from the official launch. <clears throat> Pre-orders coming, shipping soon, all of that stuff. We're a week away this week. I normally don't do this, but for some strange reason, I was very curious about it this go round, and I had to go do it. Guys, I went to my local Best Buy and I got a, I, I spent about 30 seconds, maybe a minute. I don't want to I don't want to spend too much time. But I spent about 30 seconds with the Z Fold 6. And I have a few thoughts. So the two biggest things that stood out to me right away. I'm gonna throw the video up while I'm talking. So that way you guys can kind of just see a little bit of it. Mind you, there was a point in the video where I opened up the phone with one hand while I was recording. So you see me kind of zoom in on my hand with my bad about that. But listen, first and foremost, the weight. The Z Fold 6 feels so light. I mean, it almost felt like it was a dummy unit that just had a, a screen doing, you know, the demo mode on it. But it was very, very light. I mean, astonishingly light. And compared to some devices of old it was very like it was it was really weird for example my my s24 ultra is heavier like obviously it is by the numbers but like just off of the impression that i got when i held the device in hand i was very shocked at just how nimble and light the device felt the other thing that really stood out to me immediately was the new dimensions of the device, whether uh, if you include the thinness of it and the actual boxy frame of it, holding the device in hand, this is the first time that I honestly feel like the Z Fold feels like a regular phone when it's folded. It's still narrow. It still has that tall, narrow aspect ratio, but I don't mind that because I've always said to myself, this is just for me personally, I like the idea of using the tall, narrow outer display for quick one-handed usage and opening up the inside display when I want to use both hands for things. So pause if applicable, because that was wild. But that's always been my thing. So with the Fold 6, this is the first time that I personally really feel like the Fold is stepping into that territory of, I'd recommend it to friends who enjoy Samsung. In the past, I didn't want to recommend it because I felt like hey, it was too much of a downgrade from something like this. But this year, I mean, are we getting the same cameras as the Ultra? No. But the in-feel hand of a device matters more than people give it credit for. And the Z Fold 6 this year feels like it's going to be just a great phone to use day in and day out. The weight, again, stood out the most to me because for what I do for a living, my phone's in my pocket. And I enjoy the fact that sometimes my phone, like I don't want my phone to feel like it's there. I don't like using big bulky heavy cases. I prefer for my phone to just kind of float in my pocket. And I feel like with the dimensions of the fold, including its weight, I think it's gonna do that. So I'm really excited more to get my hands on with it. The screen felt really smooth. I mean, the display looked great, obviously. I know they changed a few things this year with the displays, but the displays look great. The crease on the inside, the crease on the inside was not that bad, but I never really cared about the crease. The crease never really bothered me like that. So if you're one of those people who you're a crease fiend, like, oh my God, you know, the crease is just horrible. Ah, you know, if you're one of those people, then, I mean, you're probably going to find a way to nitpick it. But for me personally, the crease didn't bother me. I thought it was okay. Um, but yeah, I really think the Z Fold 6 is shaping up to be a decent upgrade. I mean... You gotta remember folks, this is kind of a little bit of a rant, but you gotta remember, if you got a Z Fold 5, you don't need this. So if you got a Z Fold 4, you might not need this. But for the Z Fold 2, Z Fold 3, those owners, this is a great upgrade. If you've been holding out since the three, waiting for an upgrade, this is the one you wanna upgrade to. Not just because of the fact that it's thinner, lighter, closes uh, all the way, has a few more refinements in it, but it looks different runs different Galaxy AI. I know there are gonna be some features coming to older devices, but you really can't beat some of the perks of this one. Plus you got people who have a Fold 4 who can get a thousand dollars off right now by trading in the Samsung. So shameless plug, links down below if you still wanna pre-order. But that's what I really wanted to talk about in this video. Again, like I said, I just took a little short clip and very, very impressed with what I saw today. 
very curious how it's gonna be once I get it in hand and I start using it day in and day out. But so far, the Z Fold and even the Z Flip, I feel like they're gonna be some nice upgrades for those of y'all who have been waiting to upgrade. But that's pretty much it for this video. Let me know down below in the comments, have you gone to check out the Z Fold 6? Are you getting the Z Fold 6? You guys know the spiel. Love to talk to y'all in the comments. So hit me up and I'll catch you guys in the next video. It's your man Tech King Mike. Peace.